Well, Dante, we saw some snow flurries in there. Is it, do we need to be break out the shovels yet, or is it just kind of a precautionary uh, tale so far? Well, it's definitely a lot colder here in the fall and feeling more fall-like, but right now it appears to be mostly rain showers and activity that we've had the past couple days, and still cold, but drier yeah. in terms that we start the work week. So, gonna have to wait a little bit to get the snow blowers and the shovels All right, out that sounds sure, good to me. So. <laughs> yeah, so drier conditions are in store for us and maybe a little bit of sunshine as well there tomorrow on Monday. We've had a weekend of a lot of cloud cover and rain showers. Partly cloudy skies are possible as we get some nicer, drier conditions there to start the work week and the next storm system coming in the middle of the week. So in your weather headlines for tonight, the rain showers have ended for this evening and the winds will calm down with those partly cloudy skies as high pressure comes in to take control of the weather pattern for the next couple of days. It will continue to be chilly and ahead of that next weather maker there Tuesday and Wednesday. So the skies are clear right now to partly cloudy. All those rain and snow showers that we had over the weekend have calmed down and gone away as high pressure now comes into control. Still a westerly and northwesterly wind in the region, especially at those higher levels, bring in all of the cool air. The future cast showing those clear conditions, a few high clouds through the morning tomorrow on your Monday and mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies for the afternoon. Temperatures still very chilly, only in the 40s for your high temperatures tomorrow. A couple clouds push in later on in the day as the next storm system, an upper air disturbance comes in through the region and that's going to bring a couple rain showers into our area and in those higher elevations, maybe some mixed snow and rain and a few areas of freezing rain where we'll have to be a little bit careful about that as well, but mostly a rain event at this point in time as those temperatures are warmer in the 40s. So the system moves out by the end of the day Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies there as well. Trending below normal for those temperatures this week. Thursday looks to be pretty chilly there, maybe only getting into the 30s and not even out of the 30s there later in the week. Our normal for this time of year, 58 degrees for the high temperature. So for the rest of tonight, getting down to the mid 20s for that low, a partly cloudy night, cooler and drier overall than what we've had the past couple nights as those winds calm down and from a light breeze from the northwest as well. And the dog walking forecast for tomorrow, again, a cooler day, still mostly sunny to partly cloudy and high temperatures in the 40s in Charleston area. So looking to be a dry day, which is great compared to what we had this weekend, but still rather cool. Those snow showers push in on Tuesday. Temperatures still in the mid 40s for Tuesday and into Wednesday with that next storm system. And for the rest of the week, again, partly the mostly sunny skies for Friday and into Saturday as those high temperatures still in the 40s through the start of the next weekend. All right, thanks, Dante. Next year tonight, a global computer chip shortage is costing American companies billions of dollars and impacting availability of countless customer electronics.